All I can say is what a season this was. What a dynasty this has been. This has been the most unpredictable dynasty that I've been a part of on this channel ever. The fact that, I mean, I, I really thought we would be two-time national champions by now. And it just hasn't happened. And that just goes to show you how good this game plays. Uh, and it could just be the conference that we're in, too, man. The Big Ten does not play around. You're going to see what's going on with the bowl games. We're not going to play any bowl games in this episode. In our next episode, we will probably, I'll probably drop that video tomorrow on Tuesday along with the season opener for... Uh, NCAA 07 with the Aggies going into season number two. The Jim Thorpe Award returns to its home. The Hoosiers, we know how to produce safeties, all right? This is our second strong safety to get the reward. My homeboy, Dorch, from Ohio State. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, we took him, or he wanted a chance. We did not take him. We did not bribe him, okay? We did not do any of that foolery. And now, Conception. This might be the first offensive lineman trophy I've won since SAU. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the SAU days, man. So, anyways, we're going to be taking on Florida State in the championship game. Let's see what's going on with the Heisman. I'm Brad Nessler, and I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight in New York City for the presentation of the Heisman Trophy. It's an honor to present this award, which goes to the best college football player in the country. This young man will become a part of NCAA football history. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this year's Heisman Trophy. Congratulations. So we came up just a little bit shy. We finished third, but to give it to another receiver who absolutely balled out. Yeah, I mean, he deserved it. 17 receiving TDs. I believe he had over 20 total TDs with Ellis Jones. But you're going to see in the best receiver conversation, he won't even finish in the top three for that Belenikoff award. You can see he's right outside the top three at number four. So Andrews from Iowa, another Big Ten representative. Can't be too mad about that, man. But at least we had somebody up in the conversation. That is always a good look for your program moving forward because recruiting the kids, they look at who can produce Heisman winners who can help their guys get to big time bowl games and of course get their behind to the NFL alrighty so let's move on man to the All-Americans do we have anybody on the first team are we sure we had two trophy winners so Conception he's there and then yes Meyer he is there as well at guard I'm telling you our left tackle left guard situation was beautiful I was just hoping that we could have been a little bit more physical up front in our ground game. But hey, it is what it is. Dorch was a pleasant surprise. I'm hoping that that guy comes back for his senior season. If not, I get it. He's already been in college for four years because he had to sit out his uh, transfer year. And of course, I redshirted him. That's just the right move to do to not lose a year of eligibility. Because you will lose a year of eligibility if you do not redshirt these guys. Anyways, man, when it comes to the freshman, you saw we had a quarterback. He's the all-freshman quarterback. That's what I'm talking about. Big 10, though, we got Jones, and we got Nicholas, and we got Conception, and we got Meyer. That is a good, good look. Then we got Stefano at outside linebacker, and then we got Dorch at strong safety. So there you go. So we are just absolutely balling. Anybody on the second team, though? Okay, so maybe not ball. Maybe you are balling. We're just not that deep. You know what I mean? We're, we're just not, you know. Washington, he's there. That's when he got for the second team. So Miller's numbers, decent. Definitely a struggle to kick off the year. Uh, but we had one more touchdown as a team than interceptions. And that is a good look for your boy. Because y'all know I love throwing the football to the other team. I try not to. I really, really do. But I always try to make big time plays. Da -na -na, da -na -na, and I probably got to stop doing that. Because maybe if we stop doing that, we might actually have a chance to, you know, get back to the national championship, get back to winning the Big Ten. Like, I think that's the biggest surprise for me is that ever since our national championship year, we have not won the Big Ten. We have not won the Big Ten. So I'm loving this dynasty right now. Um,. Yeah, I really, really am. And we're, we're probably going to... I'm going to try to do this for a whole 30 years. We are doing two games per episode. That might change because that's a lot. And I'm really I'm really loving doing the rebuilds again. There's going to be another one coming out this Saturday. So be on the lookout for that. And I may even drop an NBA one. Not quite sure. I know that this is heavy football channel, heavy college football channel as well. But I love doing the rebuilds. It just, you know, it gives me something different to do. Uh, you know, but... Yeah, NCAA is here to stay, obviously, but, um, 
yeah, I might change. I might go back to this one gameplay per episode and maybe double it up through the week, like Monday through Friday. Maybe give you a little bit of NCAA 06, a little bit of NCAA 07. I was just gonna post NCAA 07 on on a Tuesday and on Friday, but again, if I'm only doing one gameplay, then I could probably put two videos out each day which i don't know if some of you guys got the time to watch that maybe you do maybe you don't maybe you like it maybe you don't like it i don't know but i'm always down to try new things and you know switch things up man so th these are the uh con the country leaders in each statistical category and our guys were close to the top man look at smith as a linebacker he is what well, he was in the top four when it came to the uh, deflected passes. We got Shafano top four and forced fumbles. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now let's look at the bowl games. Outback Bowl, uh, uh, January 1st. Purdue is in that thing. Georgia versus Texas in the Cotton Bowl. Gator Bowl got West Virginia and, um, no, West, yeah, West Virginia versus Virginia. Wow, okay, there you go. Then Tennessee and Wisconsin. Then Washington and Iowa, okay, big town bowl games. Fiesta Bowl is us. You know what I'm saying? And then you got Cincinnati and LSU in the Sugar Bowl. And then, yes, the National Championship game. Michigan taking on Texas A&M. So the Big Ten is represented very well here in the bowl season. Anyway, though, I am going to get about here. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love.